welcome our host for the evening, With the summons and the rippets and the deafest and the jeepers, all the deafest of a bit and the pets. June is busting out all over. Just because it's June, June, June. Oh! Oh, LA! Thank you, thank you, and welcome to the 30th Annual Ovation Awards! Welcome to my apartment. Oh my God, you guys, we're streaming live this year as well. Welcome to the future. Hi, mom. She's in prison in the Philippines. She's not, she's on vacation. It's okay, you can laugh. Uh, the Ovations are the only peer judged theater awards in Los Angeles. Also, the only award show that would allow their hosts to pay homage to a very niche YouTube video <laughs> of National treasure, Leslie Uggams. Her family's here. Um, uh, forgetting the lyrics to June is busting out all over. If you haven't seen it, you kind of just did. You're welcome. Uh, actually, by a round of applause, who, who knows of this video? <laughs> so everyone else on your lift ride home tonight, I need you to Google Leslie Uggams June. It'll be the first thing that pops up. Listen, we've all experienced it. We've all gone up on words or lyrics. It's why I have cards tonight. Uh, but no one, and I mean no one, does it like Leslie Uggams. <laughs> but enough about her. She's not even here. Um, actually, uh, Miss Uggams, are you here? <laughs> Great, moving on. The ovations are special because the LA Sage Alliance has always made it their mission to make diversity a top priority. And they're dedicated to build, yes. Uh, and they're dedicated to, to bringing awareness and inclusion through performing arts. And honestly, thank God, because if I wasn't asked to host tonight, I'd probably be at another screening of Cats. <laughs> I go for the sense of community. Uh, tonight, we celebrate theater, which at its heart is all about community. As we start a new decade in a world that is truly falling apart, we have to vow to continue to connect with one another through our art, right? Uh, through performances that can touch lives in more ways than we can measure, through visionaries who have long fought to be heard, through writers whose voices make people feel seen, but there's still work to be done, right? Uh, there's still room for improvement, but together we can achieve that. So, let's make tonight all about that kind of future, a future where everyone has a place at the table. And you're all invited. Tonight, we celebrate 30 years of theater in Los Angeles, you guys. So since this is hashtag Ovations 30, and the 30th anniversary is traditionally Pearl, did you know that? Now you do. Um, I'm going to offer you some pearls of wisdom. You guys are way too excited for those. Um, pearl number one, there are something like 199 nominees tonight. We don't have time to clap 199 times. So please hold your applause until all the names in the category have been announced. Don't make me come down there. Don't make me go up there. Please, the stairs are hard. I have bad knees. Pearl number two. No one may, may accept an award for anyone else. If any recipients are not in attendance tonight, their awards will be taken home with me um, and they can be bought back over Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> and pearl number three, this is important, you guys. If you win an award, you will have 45 seconds to give your speech. If you go over that time, and listen, if you go over that time, <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Um, <laughs> you will be forced to become an employee of the hotel. It's a nice hotel, <laughs> but you have to keep making art. And you, you can't do it here. Uh, now that those rules, <laughs> sorry, pearls, are out of the way, I do have to say it is an absolute honor to be hosting tonight. Um, there are many of you here who uh, undoubtedly have no fucking clue who I am. 
And that's okay, it's okay. Uh, I spent 11 years doing theater in, in New York. Uh, my last Broadway show was a show called Be More Chill. <laughs> you know it. I sang a song called Michael in the Bathroom. Uh, and uh, when that show closed, I flew out to LA uh, to play Seymour in a reimagined production of Little Shop of Horrors at the Pasadena Playhouse. Uh, I, uh, I'm deeply grateful that that was my introduction to the LA theater scene. Um, I love the energy that audiences brought uh, and bring in LA. Uh, I love the weather, obviously. I even low-key enjoyed sitting in, in traffic, but not so much anymore. Um, still, I decided to make my move out here permanent, so I'm here. <laughs> Thus, leading us to tonight and my joining this community, if you'll have me. Will you have me? Amazing, thank you guys. Tonight we honor our past and celebrate our present, always bearing in mind that we are marching forward with the mission that everyone has a right to be invited to the party. Yeah. Now, who's ready to give out some awards? 